we are often quick to condemn anyone who disagrees with us, other people, things in life, rather than taking ownership. Dr. Nick joins us with more. We're talking about suffering and transcendence. Transcending the suffering. So that's weird that I had to it's, talk about yeah. condemning, but they're all yeah, intertwined. It's, 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 it's kind of a Buddhist approach that we're talking about this morning, which is, uh, you know, what makes us suffer? Why do we suffer? And how may we transcend it? And of course, one of them was clinging attachments. Right, uh, identifying with identifying our possessions. Identifying with our possessions uh, and, and not living, you know, in kind of an internal, inner, detached, obviously, is the great word for Buddhism. But what really struck me was this notion of condemnation. And I, I didn't like the word because I don't, I just don't like, condemn seems so, so... Harsh. Harsh, thank you. But that's basically what, you know, this article is saying, is that when we're condemning, we're, we're, we're belittling, we're disliking, uh, anger at someone else, uh, bitterness, resentment, all those horrible things that we can feel about something or someone and never really look at what he calls the vulnerable aspects of our lives. And he, that, and he said too that that's one reason why we condemn so much is because we, we, are, we don't want to be vulnerable and look inside of us. It's right. so much easier to lash at the other person. To, right. Give us an example, like we, you have well, clients. Well, because, just real quickly, because see, it, 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 we have a hard time valuing fear. We have a hard time valuing guilt. We have a hard time valuing even a little bit of shame of like, yeah, I just don't really feel good about myself having done that. We don't value, you know, our own sense of, of, of needing to evaluate and look at. So what we do is we, we blame. Mm. Like I have, I have clients, I can't believe they did an intervention and made me go to this treatment center and then I had to pay for it. And all this, all about these, and I'm like, did you not give any thought that you had been binge drinking for three months. I'm, try, I'm not. I'm not making humor. I apologize. No. But are you not? Are you not seeing that you did this? Right. And 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 I'm telling you. And I think what it, some of the reasons that this person or persons don't do it is because of fear and guilt. And I don't want to face what I've done. Right. But guilt can be self-correcting. Right. Fear can lead us to caution which is a good thing. A little shame can make us realize I'm more than that. Mm -hmm. huh? I can be better. I'm worth more than that. I'm better than that. I can do this. But those, yeah. are, those are areas of vulnerability. And, it, and you were talking about the spiral of, of condemnation. Yes. And, and it keeps going down. And when we're never vulnerable, we never grow. Well, what, what I thought was interesting about the spiral was when we, when we blame others or put our lives and our interests outside of ourselves and say, if she or he would just change or do this or I don't like that, we're really defending ourselves, okay? Right. And the more we blame, according to this person, the more we become defensive. And there's the spiral. Uh -huh. So we live a life of defensiveness instead of saying, yeah, I did it. I've binged for three months. I, you know, it feels good to say it. Now, I'm, help me, help me move beyond this, because mm -hmm. I. And also, the other thing about vulnerability is that we really want to believe in in people's good intentions. Being vulnerable is saying I I, I, I trust you. We we need to let people know that there's that that we trust them. Right. I think a lot of people blame their bosses for some of their failures at work instead of saying. You know, maybe they do have a point. Maybe I should have spent more time on that project, or, or maybe I'm, I'm not working with my clients enough. Instead of saying, you know, he is out to get me, or she's out to get me. She never liked me. Yeah. And I guess that's an example, too, of how instead of condemning that your boss, just, just take an honest look, right? Allow yourself to be a little vulnerable. It's not to say that you might not have some valid points, but if you don't think that you might share some of the blame, then it's never going to get better, right? It's it, exactly. I had I had a situation uh, in in my life a while back of someone just being so angry because you know her her husband had betrayed her and had an affair and just was having the hardest time not, getting over it. Yeah, or just moving so on. much, just so much anger and bitterness and resentment and 
became over time aware of, wow, this is, I gotta let this go. I'm blaming, maybe I had, did I have any role to play? Or do, or how do I wanna get over this? And how do I wanna deal with my fear? Mm. And my lack of trust, which are all areas of vulnerability. Those are big, yeah. Areas of vulnerability. You know, how, how do I still look at this person and, and say, okay, that's done. Yeah. That's behind us. Wow. It's, 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 really, it's really hard because the blame game is easy. Yeah, yeah. And it protects us, y you. Yeah, you're the problem. You're the problem. Yeah. It's powerful stuff to be vulnerable. Right. And, and to accept that it, I have something to do with it. I just, well, I just wanted to mention that, you know, one of the ways we can also change our suffering is, is, is it, and he, he talks about it, acts of kindness, uh. praise, praying for those that we may be angry with. I do that. Yeah, I know a lot of people who do that too. I, I, and, and, I, and, it's, and it's not insincere. I genuinely step back and say, that's a good person too. I, I, I pray for them. Because right. maybe I was hurt by someone. Sure. But it doesn't mean I have to carry it. Acts of kindness are so powerful. I, I think I told you once about you know the person, if his, he had very concerned about the trust with his wife. And so every okay. time she would leave and come back, he would say, where have you been? <laughs> I, 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 I said, do you think maybe the next time she comes in, you could say, hello, my darling, did you have a good time? At which point she'd probably say, yes, I did, blah, blah, I blah, did. blah, blah. and how and was said, your day? And now you're, oh. now, it's like the acts of, and I don't think that's insincere. Right. It might not feel good because you really want, <laughs> you want to say, where have you been? But instead you say, it's an act of kindness. How was your day? Did you have a good time at the ball? Yeah. Instead of thinking, she's not there, she's not there. And always thinking the worst, <laughs> right? Always thinking the worst. <laughs> so I love it when we're condemning somebody else. We really need to think about ourselves more, and then them in a loving way. I, I love. Yes. I, I know some people say, yes. "I'm just going to surround this person in so much love," and they really used, you know, real, telepathy, really, yes. you know, just to send those good vibrations out into into the universe. And I do think it's healing for both. Yes, and and that's that's kind of back to again an interesting dichotomy. We want to be detached Buddhistically, but we also know that we're all connected. Right. And that energy flow is happening. Why, why, instead of blame and anger, why can't it be kindness? Right. And praying for it. And you say often to me, Nikki, I, I, I want to believe that somebody can grow uh, and evolve. Yes. You say that often. I just don't, I'm not into condemning people because I believe they can grow. Yes. Well, that's that's pretty much an act of kindness. <laughs> right, right. And you a know, belief in... Certainly politicians, something comes up from their past 30 or 40 years ago and they say I'm a different person and some people say, no, you can't be. But, well, of course they are. Yes. I mean, yes. yes. I, I think that we have to be very aware of, of people's ability to change. And there's the act of kindness and the praying for. That's right. Very, very important. Thanks, Dr. Nick. More Weekends with Whitney after this.